Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, tankers of British Universe to the channel. Just a few days left until the British light tanks will be in the game. And that means we'll take a good look at the Vickers 105, the new tier 10 light tank in World of Tanks Blitz. And World Gaming have released an article on the portal and in game and a video uh, detailing the FV301, the Vickers CR at tier 9, and then the Vickers 105 as well. Uh, you would need 275,000 in terms of XP from the Vickers CR and 6.1 million in terms of credits, which is uh, practically the norm for all of these tier 10 tanks. And the main advantage of the Vickers Light is the view range. It will have the best view range in game, 280 meters without any upgrades. And if you add equipment and provisions to the equation, you will get 325 whole meters. And as Wargaming states, in, and I'm reading this from the website, it means the Vickers Light is ideal for a light, tank mains, light tank's main task, reconnaissance. You probably won't feel this advantage at first, but with every battle in the Vickers Light, you will have more insight into how far this warrior can see. Make good use of this feature, and your team will always know where the enemy is hiding. Um, yes, that's one thing. Because it has really good view range, but it also has a brilliant gun. And I'm using it as a flanker now. As you can see, this is still from the old test. But the gun that it has is an um, adaptation of the... L7, which is on the Centurion uh, 7-1, which is on the FV4202, and that means that it has brilliant characteristics. It, it is pretty much an instant hit. I, I mean, uh, I bounce and uh, the Vickers Light bounces as well. But you can see, you you press fire, you shoot a shell, and here we go. <laughs> I'm lucky to bounce that one, but uh, it just instantly hits and what i've been doing in the last few games on the open test server was actually try this tank not with op6 but having double food on it and then adding a camouflage net and i think and i'd love to be proven wrong in a way because uh, it, it's always good to have multiple ways to uh, to play a tank i actually think that you could play this tank or maybe even shoot play this tank with a camouflage net. I'm just slowly lurking around over here. Hello, leopard, here we go. Boom! Look at that, nearly instant hit. Just, just pulling the trigger and then it hits the enemy at 1478 in terms of muzzle velocity. And the gun has heat for its premium ammo and it has a hash round for AG at 105 penetration. So it is by no means a shabby tank. That tank, the Sheridan, will get nerfed in uh, the next update. We'll get a bit of a smaller engine. And that means that the three light tanks in the game will be pretty much comparable in terms of uh, mobility, I think. The, the Figures 105 isn't the quickest one. I know that. But what I wanted, what, what I wanted to show you is this little example of, of gameplay. It's not stellar, this is from the 7.0 open test on the Russian server, hence it is a 2 versus 2 as you can see. But what I want to show you is the tank using a camouflage net. Did you see the little icon in the bottom below? I'm running a camouflage net now on the tank and I'm not running optics. I'm gonna pause the video once I've spotted uh, two of the tanks and then we'll hop into map inspector, inspector for a little bit. And then I'm going to show you what I mean, because I'm making the turn over here, and we spot the Sheridan, hello, and we're not spotting myself, and we'll spot the AMX-50B as well, because I dive into a bush, and hello, there we are, here we are, here we are, right, gonna pause the video right now. This one into uh, to map expect, I didn't think about downloading replay yet, which I could have done probably, but take a look at, at this map, take a look at what is happening here. This was my position, right over there. This one is the uh, the Sheridan's position right over there. And you can see that I'm at about 174 in terms of meters. That's, that's really close. That is, it's really freaking close. I'm in the park and I'm not, I'm not even on this road over here. I'm in the park and I'm able to spot the Sheridan over there. And then using this little bush, I'm able to spot the Amex 50B over there. And I don't get counter spotted. And let's quickly take a look at all the statistics of a few tanks right up over there. I'm running this, I'm running black tea and putting a T and a camouflage net, giving me still view range of 295 meters, which is pretty darn good, I think. 
But if you look at this, I would have to be in 180 meters of range to get spotted by a tank which has 313 meters of 340 meters of view range. And that uh, just happens to be the current, make no mistake about that, the current STB1, which has a view range, as you can see, of 313.6. The Sheridan, with the same loadout, cola, big can of cola, and a uh, camouflage net, here we go, that one, that one would then be spotted by a tank, here we go, 314, at 198 meters. That means that I'm just that little bit better in terms of concealment. And the same goes for the bed chat. We have the bed chat equipped as well with uh, canned pâté and hot coffee and uh, croissant, as you can see. And that tank would get spotted, here we go, 314, in 180 meters. So the bed chat and the Vickers, they are the true light tanks, as in being really sneaky 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 and i think that you should drive the figures 105 if you unlock it straight away maybe and then, then use the camouflage net and if you have this skill fully trained camouflage then it's it's going to be so so sneaky so hidden you, you can see that amx 50b i spotted him and he moved away and he didn't spot me in return and I'm trying to hash shot on the back of uh, the tank, which could have penetrated, didn't penetrate, unfortunately. But th this will add a little bit of flavor to the, the current light tanks, basically. Because it's going to be flexible, it has a really good gun with uh, good APCR characteristics, it can bounce shots on that front plate, <laughs> it can uh, shoot people in the side with the hash round, it has a heat shell that is really useful. And with all this all this mobility it's it is wargaming are creating three very distinctive types of light tanks as i said you have the derpy go kart that is the sheridan you have the three shot submachine gun as they call it which is the uh, bat chat and then you're gonna have this one early game spotter and then turning into a, a real good sniper tank which is versatile with good apcr rounds as i've just said and heat and hash, obviously. And it is not invulnerable. It is really strong, but it's not invulnerable. And I should have probably shot an uh, APCR shell. I'm gonna do it right now, uh, and we are nearly dead, <laughs> as you can see. <coughs> but this was a, was a good game as well. A little one, two versus two on the open test server. And I, I want to finish off with just. One more game. This was a first class actually, but then again, 1000. It, it, it's it's a small server. It's created specifically for uh, for testing tanks. It is created specifically for bug testing, or even more than testing tanks. Um, and that means that it has it all its own threshold in terms of aces. It, it should not be that people play the tank and they say, "Oh, I got 1100 XP on the tank, and I did, only got a second class." More to you, hacking. Well, every server has its own XP bar. Anyways, we are on Canal 5 versus 5, so in that regard, this is a proper 7.0 preview video. I'm going into this little bush, and I get counter-spotted, as you can see, by the E100. But that bush, that's a quite a good one to do some early spotting um, on Canal as well. Because you can spot tanks going towards A cap. If it is supremacy, I think it's nearly mandatory to go into that bush, but uh, who am I to say? But you can see I'm... I'm, I'm running around and this is going to be a great video a great little game to show you um the the gun oh, shot. brilliant to show you the gun and also to show you the um camouflage rating on the tank which is just which is insane it, it really is i'm not spotted by this e on it because it's a big big tank and it is practically blind on this shot look at that 240 meters on the vk it was pretty close in my opinion. I'm sitting still, obviously, moving backwards now and then peeking over again. Sitting still a little bit. Yes, there we go. Camouflage net isn't even activated now. And I'm not spotted by both the VK and the bat chat. And I'm shooting through some twigs, which might help. But I'm not shooting through bushes fully. So let, let's try this shot then. Oh, hello, that is a Sheridan, double bush. I'm not gonna get spotted anyway, but I'm driving forward just to make sure I'm not spotted. 
I'm gonna shoot the Sheridan again. Yes. And again, not spotted. While this guy, the Batshed is. You, you saw that. The Batshed was spotted and I wasn't. This is going to be the best sniper tank in tier 10. The Leopard might have a little bit better mobility and, and maybe top speed, etc. But I think this tank will turn out into the best sniper tank in the game. It's, it is, it's got everything. It has a good gun, it has the view range, which and you can play it to the, the really sporting tank with maximum view range. Or go for this camouflage thingy, the, the hidden sniper. I think I prefer the hidden sniper, to be honest, because... Let's face it, if, if you have just about just about 300 view range, there's more than enough to, to spot most of the tanks. While you can sit practically still and, and bounce shots. As you can see, I'm lucky here and then I lose a bit more health. <laughs> but uh, you can sit and they would have to approach you at about 180 meters. And even if they have less view range, let's say they're 282 like a VK is for example. They will have to get within 160 meters of you to spot you. 160 is so damn close. I mean, this is 50 meters towards the Sheridan. And I kill the Sheridan. And I'm spotted, obviously. And I'm, then I'm gonna poke out. And then I'm gonna bounce another shot. <laughs> which is ridiculous on the gun. <laughs> but yeah, OP, OP, they say. I think this is a really good tank. I think it will be the best sniper in the game. And I'm really looking forward to playing this tank in World of Tanks Blitz very soon. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all tomorrow again. Cheers and a happy tanking.